Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Osiris New Dawn Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue working on our new base. So uh, I spent probably, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes off camera since I left you in the last episode uh, salvaging most of the, the place here. There's still more that we, we can salvage. I basically did these three areas here. And in the doing of that, uh, we were able to make a workbench and another furnace. I have not actually been back to the original base location to grab all that stuff yet. Uh, but I wanted to bring you back now, <coughs> excuse me, um, to show you a few things. So um, we have enough stuff from all the salvaging again that we did to make the workbench upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, and then we need to get our uh, work tool out in... Uh, we have to, uh, where is it? Insufficient resources. Wait a minute. What do you mean insufficient resource? Oh, wait a minute. I know what the problem is. Um, okay, hold on. Press escape. Get rid of this. Open this. Um, the leather that we need for that is in here. Uh, so we made it. We just didn't have it in our inventory. Okay, now we should be able to put this together so what it does is it kind of puts like a little ghost thing around the workbench and then you just use your multi-tool to actually build it and boom so it changes the the whole workbench now to a um a repair bench uh it's still a workbench but now if you look at this little area over here you can use this and you can put your tools and stuff in and repair them it's a beautiful thing look at that doesn't even cost anything to repair either okay so we got that done. Now we also have, um, here, let's get rid of the the blueprint thingamadoodle. We also have the stuff that we need to do the um, fuel cell upgrade, which is fuel cell and some aluminum. I got all that aluminum from salvaging. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. And once again, we need to pull out our multi-tool and it does it down here. Uh, like I said, before you're able to do this, um, you have to feed this plant fiber as fuel and it burns it through it really quick. So, um, but this is usually pretty easy to do because you can usually find the stuff you need uh, simply from salvaging. So good. We've got the fuel cell upgrade, which means we don't need to put fuel into this. The next most important thing we want to do for this guy is we want to do the low heat upgrade, and we just need one thing of gold. And I believe I actually have some gold back at our other base. So what we're going to do now is... Well, we could do one of two things. I need to finish salvaging all this stuff anyway. So all the stuff over there, all the stuff here, which we could get some gold from. Um, or I could just run back to the other base and grab all of our stuff and come back here, which I think I'm going to do because we have to do that anyway. And then, you know, salvaging the rest of that stuff is, again, stuff I can do off camera. So I think what we'll do is let's make uh, one or two storage uh, thingies first, though, so we can put stuff in it so we're not really heavy. Um, I got to think about how this is going to work too. I'm probably going to keep this stuff here permanently. So, um, but the scrap chests I usually end up replacing eventually. Most of them I usually end up replacing with the depository. So these are not quite as permanent. I think we're going to want to put one or two forges in here. Uh, well, actually, what we'll do is we'll probably better forge a chem station and a, a 3D printer. In this area here so let's go ahead and put the storage stuff kind of over this way um, and I might want to do two furnaces too so I'm gonna move this over so we have room for another furnace if we decide to do that at some point later on um, so let's go ahead and build this here and can we make another one of those and put it on top like that very good. And let's try and see if we can make a couple more. Uh, this might be the last one. Let's see. Because it requires scrap hinges. That's the part that's a little sometimes tricky in the early game for these guys. Can we do one more? Yes, we can. Perfect. And that way, you know, we can unload uh, most of our inventory here and... Uh, have enough room to carry everything else back these little parasites are a pain in the ass and i'm gonna again i'm gonna do another stone um uh stone wall 
probably f running from there to here and then from there to over here somewhere, at least, you know, temporarily. So we have our work area because nothing's going to be able to get through uh, these buildings here as they're currently as they currently are. OK, so what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, we're going to uh, just offload stuff. So let's try and be somewhat organized with this. Um, we're going to put ingots in here. Um, and then we'll also put, we'll start to put ores in here too. And then the one below it will also be ores. It usually takes about three of these for the ores and two for all the possible ingots. Uh, at least that seems to be the case, uh, most of the time. <clears throat> okay. And then in this one, we're going to put... Uh, let's put the tech stuff in here. So that's basically going to be rubber, plastic, circuit boards, LCDs, power cells, wire, glass, uh, hoses and pipes. Uh, okay. And we can, we'll, we'll just put the leather and I guess we'll put that cloth in there for now too. This one down here, we're going to do containers because you usually end up with a whole mess of containers. Um, and we'll put the debris in there too, and we'll put the leather and the extra meat in. Let's also put a couple of things of water in there. And we don't need, actually we don't need this at all, so let's just drop that. Let's drink that for hydration. And we're going to, yeah, we're, we're having a food problem, but as soon as we can get this thing upgraded to cook meat then you know food problems will be a thing of the fast now past now i can you know i can still and probably should actually now that i think about it i should harvest a couple of red fern berries because that's gonna tide us over uh, until this guy gonna attack us yeah the wasps don't usually bother unless you get really close to them um yeah so let's get some red berries off of here whoa oh yeah that's my oh no it is a bee attacking us you son of a I just told every, told the peeps that you're you're nice and you won't attack me, but oh shit, <laughs> they're all attacking me. What the hell, man? All right, let's uh let's take a bandage, little bastards. Okay, I guess we're gonna eat this now. That's our last uh thing of stew, and I'm not gonna harvest those. You can get like insect parts off of those, but I don't even know what you use them for. It may not even be implemented yet. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get some red berries off of these guys. Uh, you are dropping them, right? Uh, it's not... Damn it, it's not dropping anything. Sometimes you hit on it for a while, and then all of a sudden, it'll drop a whole bunch of berries at once. But this one is bugged. No pun intended. All right, we got to find it. Let's go try this red one over here. Come on, drop some berries. I got to eat. Get out of here. This isn't dropping berries either. The damn thing's bugged. Okay, well, then the next best thing we can do is harvest ciniferns. And we're going to imagine as we eat ciniferns to keep from dying that they taste like cinnamon. Get out of here. Did we kill that guy? Yeah. Om nom nom. Tasty, tasty. All right, guys. Um, let's see. Our uh, other base was back kind of in um, Helios Hill, which is kind of off to the south. So I'm going to run back there, uh, grab as much stuff as I could carry, and I will meet you back at our current base. Don't go away. All right, guys. We are back, and uh, I was able to grab everything uh, from our... Our place, including all of our stone walls, uh, we didn't get uh, all the materials completely back from it, but we got uh, enough probably to do what we need to do here. So let's get those down first. Uh, so we don't have quite enough wall to cover all the gaps between here and there. So we're going to... Uh, let's see here. How do I want to do this? Let's go... Let's start here. And hopefully we can clip this into the other stone. Oh, it's not going to let us clip it, is it? 
Okay, we're gonna have to put it in front then, I guess. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Okay. Again, stone walls are temporary. They won't, they're they're not going to stay here forever, so I'm not super worried about their exact placement. Uh, why don't we extend this here, and then we'll turn it uh, this way. Do we want to go right there? Man, we almost could get that in there. Oh, you know what we might be able to do? Okay, hold on a second. Let's um, let's escape out of that. Go here and uh, utilities. Okay, let's turn this this way. Because you can use the the crates themselves to also block uh, the monsters too. In fact, hold on. Something even what might even be a better idea. Let's grab all of that. Um. And let's see if we can utilities, scrap metal chest, doo -doo -doo, turn it that way. Maybe we can make the whole this whole side nothing but scrap metal chests. It all depends upon how many hinges we have. And one more this way. Perfect. All right, so we've got our fence. Oh, we got it. We got to block this out over here too. Let's just use stone walls for this one. Hopefully, we have enough left. If not, not a big deal. I can always get more. So, um, yeah. Nope, we're good. Okay, so man, we can almost. Uh, we want to be on the other side of the opening there. See, I don't know if that's going to actually work. I don't know if th that these are lined up. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, so let's put this here. And then this one, we're going to have to probably turn at an angle. Or no, we might have to do the overlap thing again. So we want to get it right about there. That should work. All right. So our defenses are in place. And we have a nice flat area to work with. I, I, I like this setup way better than our other setup, for sure. Okay, we're going to eventually need all of this storage space. So do we have enough material well hold on before we go hog wild with that we want to get this other upgrade done uh, so the low heat we're missing one thing of brass really uh, did I wait I was gonna say I thought we had brass okay and there we go low heat upgrade now we can cook Bottle meat dropping. And it's a beautiful thing. Food is no longer an issue. We are set for the rest of the game. So let's open this guy up. And we want to uh, cook grilled alien meat. I think I might have some more in one of these chests uh, as well. Yeah, we got some there too. Make even more steak. And we'll move this over here and eat some because we need some. Okay, cool. Food is no longer a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Food is no longer a problem. All right, so we are doing good. We are doing really good. Um, I guess the next thing I want to do is uh, see if we can get four more of these chests made to, to double them up. Because, again, we will. Uh, I, I guarantee you we're going to need the space. <laughs> Uh, we will. So let's see if we have enough stuff to do that. If not, then, you know, we'll eventually uh, get it later. So we'll go back here. Utilities. Scrap metal chest. And can we do one more? Yes, we can. Look at that. 
Um, oh, okay. Oh, it, sometimes it doesn't like to go, so you have to kind of um, mess with it a little bit. It turns... No, 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 no. Escape, escape. It's probably a little too close to either the wall or that other one, and it doesn't like it. But sometimes you can catch it real quick. There we go. I got it. <laughs> you just got to be quick on the F key. All right, nice. So we got a pretty decent amount of storage, man. This is great. This is great. Okay, so let's see. What are our next steps? Uh, we want to get this upgraded to a tool station um, as soon as possible. So right now what we can do is... Oh, the other thing we want to do is we want to turn all of our scrap stuff into normal stuff. So <coughs> um, let's go ahead and grab... Um, I'm going to put, yeah, let's grab all of this. Uh, let's grab that too. And we'll turn that into leather. These guys are all empty. Uh, let's grab these and this should all just be ore. Okay. So let's put all the ores in here. Do we have any more ore? We have some stone. We'll put those extra stones in there for the moment. Okay, now what we want to do is come to here. Uh, let's make this one piece of leather. And then we want to convert uh, all broken wires into wires. All uh, cloth bundles. I guess we don't have any broken circuit boards. We have, well, we do, but we don't have the other stuff that we need. Okay. Uh, we can do cloth bundles, so let's do that. This is just going to consolidate stuff for us and I guess that's all we can do right at the moment we could do barrels but that's going to use makeshift patch tape up so I don't think I want to do that yet okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the first uh, four probably yeah I'm going to save the first four chests for ores and ingots and then this chest here is going to be tech. Uh, so let's put all this tech stuff back in here, uh, which includes rubber. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just remembered something. We can do rubber. We can do rubber in here. Yeah, so let's turn all the glass, rubber, and plastic, the, the scrap versions of those, into the whole versions. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so we have anything else that's tech stuff? Nah, uh, the rubber. Yeah, the rubber's, I, I call that tech stuff anyways. So we'll keep tech stuff in there. We're going to keep, um, yeah, you can't get at me, can you, little bastard? Uh, o over on the far end, we're going to keep containers because we're going to start accumulating a shitload of containers. And I, I want to keep, we're going to eventually want all of them, right? So we'll keep those there. So these will be for containers. Um, this one here, let's make... Oh, we have more ingots. So let's put those ingots in here. All right, hold on. What just happened? Default sort. Oh, they stacked. That's what happened. Okay, so it was actually doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I just didn't notice. Okay, so these four are ores and ingots. This one is tech. How about for this one, we'll make this one um, scrap. So we'll put scrap in there. Um, we'll put bio material in here and food in here and maybe a couple of extra waters. We'll put cloth in here and because we're, we're going to accumulate a lot of that and I think I'm oh we'll put this in here too because this is kind of oh. oh shit kind of bio stuff that was it let's get yeah that guy just nabbed us through the thing okay good I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about our storage situation here it's looking good uh we have a couple extra stones I kind of consider those ingots so we'll put those in there uh, for the leather, let's store the leather with a cloth. That seems to make sense. These we can put down here to save some space. 
And let's go back to here and grab everything out of there and everything out of here. I really like the system where you can salvage scrap stuff and turn it into whole stuff. It's, it's just fun. I think so anyways. Okay, so yeah, so these are now whole wires, whole pieces of glass, uh, whole pieces of rubber, etc., etc. Some things require more than just, uh, you know, two of the broken thing. You know, like the circuit boards require like three, I think three different ingredients. So that stuff I usually don't make until I need to make it. So we got a little bit of extra plastic in there, which will go in here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're doing great, guys. We're doing really good. I'm feeling good about our progress so far. Okay, so what I need to do now is I've got the rest of this stuff in here to salvage and the rest of the stuff in that in this building here. So let me get that done first, and then we'll decide what our next course of action is going to be. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, we're going to do a couple of things real quick. First of all, it occurred to me that I have not um, actually made my my new um, uh, scrap hut. This is important because it sets our spawn point and also puts a marker on the map. So let's just remove this uh, stone wall here and then we'll put the scrap hut structures right here. Let's turn it so the opening's this way. And yeah, we probably better do it this way. Um, this bug's going to probably try and come in here. Come on, get out of the way, bug. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here, let's deal with this guy first. He's being a pain in the ass. Don't you breach my suit. I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right, let's grab our tape and fix our suit. Okay, we're going to try this again. Structures, scrap, hut. Turn it. Is there something bite me on this side or... Oh, it's cold. It's really cold out. No wonder. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we just want to get this so it fits. And we'll block critters from coming in here. Probably right there. So I can still walk through here, but I don't think any of the critters will be able to. All right. Let's set our spawn point. There we go. And we got that done. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is let's kill you and get some more dinner. Now, you're tough. Man. They don't usually take that long to kill. My uh, scythe is, is still in reasonably good condition. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, um, so I want to look at points. We'll take that before I finish the rest of this salvage, because if we can put some more points into faster salvage, that's going to help us salvage faster. It's kind of funny how that works out. Huh? Let's cook this meat up. All right, so let's do that. We're going to go to uh, F6, and so we have six stat points, so let's do health. Strength, stamina, health, strength, stamina. Okay, so faster salvage is here. So let's go here. What is this salvage bonus? Ooh, I like that idea too, huh? Okay, yeah, so we'll keep working on, on that tree. Uh, for medical, we want to keep going water and medical, so that... Is going to be how many points is that 18 science so we'll wait on that and then for combat uh, we were working down towards here so tool durability we got the increased mining damage what's this again that's suit breach uh weapon durability gun durability melee damage yeah let's let's start working down towards that what is this again tool durability let's just take it and be done with that little leg and then We'll start working towards um, increasing our melee damage. Uh, projectile damage. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So that takes care of our skills. Oh, actually, we still have nine engineering skills. Can we salvage bonus? That takes 20. 
That takes 20. So why don't we put craft at a higher health? Why don't we put a point into hover boot increase? Okay, good. I'm, I'm liking that lineup. I'm liking that lineup. All right, you guys. Uh, so we are, I guess we're at max salvage skill already then, right? Here, look, wait, let's look at that one more time. So this is salvage. Oh, yeah. So we got one more speed available and one more bonus available on the salvage. But we're, we're definitely moving in the right direction. The other thing that's going to help us salvage faster, too, is we'll eventually be able to make a wrench. And the wrench is probably, I'd say, three, th at least three times as fast as this, you know, this, this wimpy-ass welder is. So, you know, that's going to help us, too. Oh, look at that. Our first Elida. We're going to have to kill you, too, buddy. So our next um, task after we after I finish salvaging this is a forge. So we got to take a look and see what we need to get ourselves a forge going. We might luck out and be able to do it right now just with everything I've salvaged, but I'm not sure. So we have to look at that and see what the deal is. So let me finish this up and then uh, we'll take a look at the forge. Okay, so we are finished with the salvaging in this area. Let's go ahead and <coughs> excuse me. Repair our crab scythe here. <coughs> and I don't. Do we need to repair this? Yeah, I guess we do need to repair these just a little bit here. That's good to go. All right. So yeah, in my inventory here, uh, this is all the stuff that we got uh, from the remaining salvage. So we did pretty good uh, overall. Uh, we're going to again convert all the broken stuff into whole stuff. So. Uh, plastic. I'm just looking to see here. We got one scrap rubber in there. Okay. So let's go into here and we want to make wires and cloth bundles. And here we want to make a uh, glass. Uh, wait a minute. What? Hold on. Stop. 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 Here. Let's make rubber and plastic. Oh, that makes it out of sand. Okay. Yeah, we can do that too. That's fine. I don't care. Why isn't that giving me... There we go. I was going to say, why isn't it giving me the full the full button thing? Okay, so we'll turn all that into whole uh, stuff and then get out of here, dude. And we're going to have um, one piece of scrap plastic and one piece of scrap rubber left over after that. Um, so let's just put that down here. Cloth, I think we were putting in here, right? Yeah, cloth goes in there. You bastard. Okay, let's grab some steak. We got some potatoes and carrots and, and apples uh, from that salvage too, which is great. And, okay, hydration's good. So food, I think we were putting food in here, right? Yeah. So let's put all this food in here for now. And uh, berries. Oh, dropping. All right, that does it. You're pissing me off. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. That can go there. This can go here. Are we full health? All right, you guys are going to get your ass kicked. Oh. We'll inspect this. That's an Elida. It's a spider alien species thing. You, um, get out of here. This guy's kind of a bastard, too. He's an arachnid. Inspect. Inspect. All right. Take care of suit breach first. Now inspect. How come it's not giving me... There. Yeah, arachnoid. Get out of here, B. You coming after me? Okay. So I think we're in pretty good shape on leather, so I'm just going to harvest the meat off of these guys for now. It's like, this guy's got, like, something, some weird hitbox thing going on. All right, that little bastard there is a, a gnat. And you can... Bite the dust, and you can get the hell out of here, and you can get the hell out of here. And let's take a, one of these. All right, did we get all the nasties? 
Except for you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to harvest all the meat off of this thing. And, yeah. So these guys are kind of like, um... Oh, here. This is a wasp. We'll get the insect parts, I guess. I, I, again, like I mentioned, I don't know exactly what you use those for. They might not be implemented yet. But now that we have pretty good storage space, I guess we can, we can grab one of those. Hey, you little mother. Okay, so uh, we got a little more meat to cook up, so let's do that. We'll grab all of this stuff out of here and put the tech stuff in here. Uh, broken wire can come back out of there. Plastic can go in. Glass. Oh, we got a full stack of glass, which is a nice problem to have. Not really a problem at all, actually. So, yeah, these guys don't stack. Get out of here. So I'm just going to put this extra overflow in here. Uh, let's sort this. Okay, ores... Let's just put whatever ores will fit over here. And same thing for down here. And we got a couple more ingots too. We might, uh, like I said, we might actually have everything we need to to make the forge. Um, we're going to find out a little bit. We're going to drop the dirt because I don't know what it's used for. Oh, we got an extra pipe thing too. So let's put that down there. Nope. Try it again. Just wiggling my mouse. And then we're putting extra containers in here. Let's drink that. Nah. We don't need to drink that yet. We'll put all these containers in here. And then the scrap stuff. Where are we keeping the scrap stuff again? Uh, in I don't remember. We're not keeping it with the cloth. In here. There. So we got a nice little supply of scrap. We're going to need that for, you know, repairing the biodome, among other things. Uh, so we got a, a good supply of that. Okay. So forge time. that a talon? Yeah, let's grab that. Probably don't need it, but... All right, where'd you other guys go? You ran off, didn't you? Punks. Oh, you're inside my base. How'd that happen? Food delivery. That's what that is. All right, let's make even more steaks. So yeah, food, as you can see, is not ever going to be a problem again. Okay, we're putting organic stuff in here. Come on, get in there. All right, guys, so forge. Do we have what we need to make the forge? Okay, so this is going to be a little more involved, but we might actually be able to pull this off. So the first thing we need is a circuit board. Um, and we happen to have one. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, next thing we need is a, here, let's put this up here so we pin it. Okay, I think that's a, a bronze. Okay, we got the bronze. We need a power cell, which is going to be here. We need two things of, I think that's sulfur. Gold sulfur. Okay, uh, two wires. And five lead.
one glass and one mercury. Mercury, and we had some overflow glass in here. And look at that. Oh my goodness. We have everything we need to build the forge. We don't even have to go out and gather stuff. That's a beautiful thing. All right, let's go ahead and do utilities and forge. Uh, what? Okay, what's the matter? Oh, bronze, bronze, bronze. We're missing bronze. Okay, so, yeah, we need one thing of bronze. We don't have that, so we need, we're going to need to make that in here. What do we need to make bronze? Copper, tin, and magnesium. Do we have copper, tin, and magnesium? We have copper. Uh, we have magnesium. Tin. Tin. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. One bronze coming up, ladies and gentlemen. One bronze coming up. Okay. Now we should be able to make the forge. Utilities forge. Ah ha ha ha. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's move, put this here because I might want to put two forges in this area. Uh, we want to hold it out a little bit more. Probably right about here-ish. Because we do have to leave room to get that wall in later on. And there we go. We got our forge made. That is beautiful. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is make this chisel. Because this chisel has a hardness of 7. And then we can immediately turn it into the diamond chisel. Because we already have a diamond. Uh, well, wait. Can we do that? I th we might have to do another upgrade before we can do that. Yeah, you know what? I think we have to upgrade this. Uh, yeah, we have to upgrade this to a tool station. So what do we need for that? We need bronze, 6AL-4V, electrum, and wires. Okay, well, we know we can make bronze. So let's make another one of those. Okay. The 6ALV stuff, we need titanium, which we can't get until we make the other chisel. Um, so that is the stopper there. Can we make electrum? We need molybdenum. Also, uh, need the other chisel for that. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. That's how the, the progression works. So we need a dime alloy and one pipe to make the, the normal chisel. Okay. So we make the pipe in here and the dime alloy. We need silver and copper for that. And we need brass and copper for the pipe go away um all right what do we need for brass zinc I don't think we have zinc oh we do have molybdenum oh and we have zinc too okay we got all that from salvaging maybe Ooh, that's not maybe we can do this after all you guys um so what did we need that for? We needed that for the the brass, right? Yeah, we needed the zinc for the brass, okay. And we needed gold and silver for the electrum. Okay, there's silver. We got that. Is this gold? No, that's sulfur. That's gold. Okay, can we make an electrum in here? Look at that. We certainly can. Okay, now let's come back to here and make the pipe. And then we need to make the dime alloy. Oh no, did we run out of copper? Copper. Nope, we got copper there. Man, we're just like barely, <laughs> barely getting this done. But as, hey, as long as we get it done, that's the important thing. Okay, now we can make the chisel. This will allow us to mine up to seven, uh, hardness of seven minerals. But if we can get the tool bench upgrade done, uh, we can just make the diamond chisel and then we're golden. Okay, so what does this need again? Uh, tool station upgrade. 
6A LV, and that's all we need. What did this need? This Oh, it's the titanium, and uh, I think we have some iron. I don't think we have titanium. Let's look one more time. Yeah, we got iron there that we got from salvage. But it's the titanium that's going to stop us from doing that. So we're going to have to go out and find some titanium. Which we can do. All right, so this uh, makeshift chisel is now retired. Did I have a bin for extra tools? Well, I guess we'll put extra tools in there. We'll stick that in there. Oh, shit. Uh, put the glass back in there. Dang, that storm is loud. Okay. Have some extra wire and cloth in here. All right, so name of the game now is to go find some titanium. See, this is a good spot because we're protected from the uh, protected from the storm. Well, let's get this repaired. I don't know. Does that need repairing? I don't think so. And yeah, we got a nice, nice shiny new chisel. All right, did I put some food in here? Uh, not in there, in here. I did. So let's grab all that meat. Um, last time I knew apples weren't used in anything, but they might be now. So I'm going to hold off on eating those apples until we know that for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, man. We, we've actually done really well, um, and almost all of this stuff we've been able to make just from salvage. The exception to that, of course, would be that we did mine some silver and some lead in the mine. Um, and I guess we grabbed a little bit of mercury in there, too. But I don't, Yeah, we did have to use mercury for one thing. Oh, and we got some sulfur. So, anyways, all that to say, we, we actually made really good progress considering that we haven't really done any significant mining as of yet. So that is cool beans, man. You are just begging to get your ass kicked. Get the hell out of here. And wait, what was that? Yeah, you too, you little bastard. Okay. Get the meat off these dudes. Okay, so we need to go find some titanium. It is around. I just have to remember whereabouts it is at. Let me see. Some ores I've written down the coordinates of. Let me see. Did I write that down? I did. Okay, so we can find titanium at 8.1 minus 6.2. So north... And we want to go, basically then, that means we want to go northwest. So let's go, let's set out. We're going to grab some iron, too, while we're out and about, which is just right here. This is a hardness of four, so our chisel now will handle anything up to seven. Actually, let's let's just get to the titanium first, because since the iron's so close to our base, I can grab that pretty much any time. Uh, but we want to go in this general direction, Red Sea's Edge. Yeah, I think these really dark brown ones are titanium. Oh, that's carbon. Okay, no, we can't do that yet. We need the diamond pick for the carbon. So this is all probably carbon, isn't it? Yeah, okay, now we got to go further north, I think, to get to the titanium. Here we go. All right, let's grab some titanium here. This is a hardness of six. That area down there is uh, Alpha Refinery. There's also another mine here, but it's currently um, disabled in this particular experimental release. If you play this game in the current stable version, it's called Gamma Mine. So yeah, the mine's right here, but uh, as you can see, it's not activated so we can't go in there in this experimental 
Uh, there is a dude down here with a key card, but I don't think the key card's good for anything. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe you can't loot the key card off of him. Uh, there is a couple chests in here, so we'll just take everything out of those. Hmm. I thought you could loot him, but I guess you can't. Okay. There we go. So I think we have everything we need uh, to do our bench upgrade so that we can then make our diamond chisel. So let's head back uh, to our base, which is southeast of here, and get that done. I think these guys might be spawning in here. Or maybe they, maybe they are managing to get over the top here. I'm not really sure. Okay. Let's turn you into meat. And we'll grab that. And then let's see if we have everything we need to make this upgrade. So let's look at it again. The upgrade requires wire bronze, 6 ALV, and electrum. So uh, wire... Bronze, Electrum, and the 6ALV stuff we have to make in here, which requires some aluminum. Let's make it. Okay, now let's upgrade the workbench, the tool station rather. Oh, I have to do it up here, that's right. Excellent. All right, now if we grab our diamond out of here and let's take our chisel and repair it. We don't really need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then uh, put the chisel, I think, oh yeah, uh, we probably don't have to have any in our inventory. We go here and now we can make the diamond chisel. And there you go. So guys, we can now mine anything in the game. We have a level 10 or a hardness 10 chisel, and it even has a diamond on the front of it, which is really cool. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. We made some really good progress. I'm super happy with, you know, how things are going so far. Um, one, The next thing I want to look at making is the wrench, um, because this is going to be way faster than the wimpy-ass uh, welder rather that we have. Um, so we need to make the NICR stuff, which I believe is going to take carbon and nickel, both of which are here um, on uh, on Proteus. I just have to go get them. Uh, but that is something we will do in the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.